The Quest 3 is here and with it games will receive better graphics, textures and frame rates due to the higher performance of the Quest 3. So here are some of the best enhanced Quest 3 games. And we're starting with one of my favorite VR games ever, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. The Quest 3 Enhanced Edition looks absolutely incredible and has some of the biggest visual upgrades I've seen yet. This includes better lighting and shadows, making the atmosphere of this game even better, as well as higher resolution textures and increased draw distances, giving you more details and less of the fog that was used to make the game run well on previous headsets. Next up, we have a game that looked fantastic already even on the Quest 2, but of course the magicians at Vertical Robot would make Red Matter 2 look even crazier on Quest 3. The rendering resolution has been dramatically increased alongside console quality shadows and textures, and I think the footage you're seeing speaks for itself in terms of how big of a jump the Quest 3 is when it comes to performance. As you're watching this, I'm actively testing Meta's new VR headset and a full review is coming very soon, so subscribe and help me reach 30k subs by the end of the year. You might think Red Matter 2 is hard to top, but I've got you. Hubris is another game that already looked great, but it's about to get even crazier. And the developers at Cyborg actually gave us some numbers on this one. They've stated that the resolution has been significantly upgraded from sometimes 980 by 1152 to a whopping 2064 by 2208 per eye. With that huge bump also comes increased texture quality and level of detail, as well as foliage density and better reflections. I cannot wait to revisit this on Quest 3. If Saints and Sinners didn't satisfy your hunger for VR zombie shooters, Drop Dead Dual Strike will also receive an enhanced for Quest 3 update. We can see from the trailer that we're getting better textures with what looks like higher resolution overall, as well as enhanced reflections and lighting making this game look brand new, so I cannot wait to see it with my own eyes. The developer has also confirmed that they're bringing enhancements to the sequel, Drop Dead The Cabin, along Alongside the new mixed reality mode called Home Invasion. We're halfway through the list, so like the video and let me know what you think of the graphic enhancements coming to Quest 3 games. Let's keep going. Yet another banger game, Aspire 2, is bringing fans of this stealth masterpiece a bunch of Quest 3 enhancements together with the new mixed reality missions. From the footage, we can see they've added volumetric fog and smoke to enhance the atmosphere of the game. Of course, what looks like a pattern for Quest 3 updates, we're also getting enhanced textures and and better lighting effects and reflections here, so these alone make revisiting Aspire 2 totally worth it. Switching it up a bit, for golfing fans, Golf Plus has released a teaser of what we'll be getting on the Quest 3. It's a short video, but the improvements are clear, with upgraded lighting, textures and shadows, making the virtual golf course look sharper than ever. I consider this next one a hidden gem, and Guardians Frontline is getting a significant bump to the visuals on Quest 3, bringing it closer to the PC VR version of the game than the Quest one. We're seeing clear improvements to texture quality with higher particle density, better smoke and effects, and of course enhanced lighting and reflections. I genuinely don't think people realize how big of a jump the Quest 3 is when it comes to performance, but these trailers are starting to give us a good idea. The next title is everyone's favorite VR MMORPG Zenith The Last City, and it's also getting a notable Quest 3 upgrade that will be available on launch day October 10th. Graphics was one aspect where I've always felt Zenith fell short of on Quest 2, but now that's been dramatically improved on Quest 3. We're seeing better reflections, higher res textures, and more clarity in the draw distances, making the game feel way less flat than it did on Quest 2. The colors seem to pop even more, so revisiting this one will be a must. Do you know of any other games getting a Quest 3 upgrade? Be a sport and help the community by leaving a comment below. And make sure you're subscribed for my upcoming Quest 3 review and a ton more Quest 3 content that's hitting your YouTube homepage soon. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.